Hey everyone, this is Giancarlo Veronini here at the Tecmo booth at E3 2009. I'm joined by Peter Garza, a representative of Tecmo, and we're taking a look at Quantum. So, can you tell us a little bit about what you guys are showing uh, about Quantum at this year's E3? So, we're trying to give the world a, a relaunch of Quantum. It was originally shown back at TGS, uh, and so this is the first chance to see it really in motion and see the game as it's coming together. Uh, Quantum, for those that don't know, is a sci-fi third-person shooter um, with some more action elements and sort of a living battlefield uh, that we're hoping uh, puts a good spin and like a techmo feel to, uh, to the third-person shooter genre. So what do you mean by sort of a living battlefield? It's just there's always stuff going on kind of in the periphery or...? So um, a little bit of the background of the story of Quantum is uh, the action takes place within a tower. Uh, and it's a huge tower with different sections in it, but the tower is actually a living tower. And so you'll see as you uh, progress in the tower, you'll see sort of the building change shape. Uh, some examples would be sort of cover, uh, cover you know, points that spawn up from the ground. Um, those are all just destructible. So they get broken, other cover points spawn up in other sections. So you're kind of having to look around to see how the battle is changing and how the layout is changing. Um, there are also some larger scale changes within the structure. So you see you know, bridges form where there were no bridges or you know, other uh, you know, landings come out and the main character, Sid, can sort of grab onto things, climb up and climb around, and fight still while he's climbing. Um, so that's kind of what we're talking about for a living battlefield. It's sort of changing and, and constantly shifting, and you have to sort of reevaluate how to get from point A to point B. So I noticed that there's, there's been another character that's been shown and at various points. Can you explain a little bit about what her background is? Sure. Uh, her name is Felena, and within the course of the story, uh, she'll meet up with you um, sort of partway through and she's in the tower kind of for her own reasons and she meets up with the main character Sid and they kind of go together for a little bit but they're they separate again um, and sort of that sort of intertwining story is part of the the whole overarching story of quantum um, Felena when she's with you is uh, mostly uh, computer AI her her movement is AI controlled but you can can do you can do certain like action moves with her so you can throw her, for instance, um, get a hold of her, toss her at an enemy, and she can do a really powerful close quarters attack with a blade that she has. Um, she can also follow up uh, Sid's melee attack uh, with her attack, and they can sort of combo up that way. So it's uh, sort of an, another way we're trying to introduce some action elements in the shooter. So obviously, with any third-person